Okay, I just left out of the gym. Worked out for an hour. And I sat in the steam room. This video is another motivation. It's another motivational video. I'm doing this one on behalf of Nina. AKA Much Love from Kentucky. She had made a comment. I ain't recording you. She had made a comment on Facebook that she was ready to um, do this lifestyle change. And I, you know, had congratulated her and told her, you know, that she can do it. So she, um, asked me on Facebook, you know, if I would do a video on how she, sh on how she should get started. Well, first of all, you've already got started because you've already, you've already made up in your mind that you were ready to do this lifestyle change. The advice I'm going to give you is stuff that I have done to keep down my 20 pounds of weight loss. Yeah, I'm still maintaining 20 pounds. I have to work out three to four times a week, an hour, just to maintain what I've lost or I would gain it back. I've, you know, gained a couple of pounds, I've lost it back, but I'm still at this steady mark of like 20 pounds. So, I'm going to be talking about the same stuff I've already, I've already talked about on several videos. So, you know, if some of you guys don't want to watch, I'm going to be talking about the same thing. First of all, as a black African-American female, I will start with figuring out what you're going to do with your hair. And you've already figured it out because you do wear wigs and stuff. Second, and I've done a video on this also. You have to change what you put in your mouth as far as your eating habits. Think of it as a lifestyle change. Like you said, it's not a diet. You're not on a diet. You're on a lifestyle change. To just say, you know, I'm, I'm going to start eating healthier. Like I said before, as you know, as a black female coming from the South, we were taught how to cook certain things, you know, a certain way. And most of them, yeah, 90% of it was all fattening foods so you have to um you're gonna have to find a way to cook what you know how to cook differently that's that's all you're gonna have to do what you've heard in the past of eating right and exercising they are telling the truth and i'm just you know a regular female you know that i that um has done that you have to exercise and and um change how you eat and how you cook your stuff i still cook the same stuff that i grew up on but i just cook it differently i don't fry foods it's rare very rare that i might fry some fish but you know last time i fried some fish was maybe a month ago and i got sick off of it because i'm not used to eating fried food so i bake and broil all of my seafood all of my food all of my meats i haven't fried chicken and i don't even i can't even tell you about a year I might eat a piece of fried chicken, you know, if, if we go to Popeye's or something. But, again, I can only eat, like, maybe one piece, and that makes me sick. You're going to have to just learn how to season your foods differently. You know, I still cook greens and beans and stuff, but I use smoked turkey necks. That's my favorite um, seasoning right now. I might put a ham hock in it sometimes just for seasoning. And my husband, he still like ham hock, so I still cook, you know, stuff for him, but I don't eat it. I still cook roast and gravy for him. I don't eat it. I cook steak for him. I might taste it a little bit to see if it's done or if it's seasoned, but I don't eat it. I eat a lot of seafood, a lot of turkey, a lot of, I don't even care for chicken that much, tell you the truth, but if I eat, it's gonna be you no know, baked or broiled. Um, me, what I do is, you know, I go in the kitchen, like I said, and I cook all of the food that I grew up cooking, the greens and the beans and the oxtails and the ham hocks and the, the um, neck bones and stuff. I cook that stuff, but I don't eat it. What I do is I will I always take out me some shrimp or some fish or a piece of turkey, and I will cook that on the side for me. Now, I might eat the sides, you know, I, I'm, I just might, but I might eat just a salad and some meat, and I'm done. Um, in the beginning, you have to, in the beginning, of course, leave the sodas alone, the chips, the breads, the potatoes, and the rice. You're going to have to leave that alone at least for a month. That's what I did. For a whole month, I didn't eat none of that stuff. I didn't even drink wine. And you know I love wine. But I left all of that stuff alone for a month. And that's when I started seeing the weight drop off. 
And then when I try to store back eating those stuff, you know, it really doesn't settle well in my stomach. So, I mean, I eat potatoes a little bit every now and then. I might eat a little rice every now and then, but not every day like I used to. And as far as exercising, you know, I know you can't, you know, do, you know, all of the physical exercises. What I would do, if I were you, I would go to my doctor, because I know you're on a lot of medications and stuff. I would ask him, I'm like, I would tell him, just like this, I'm like, look, you know I'm in a wheelchair, and I'm gaining weight, I can't get rid of it because I can't exercise. Tell him that you have already started changing your life as far as eating right. He don't know that, but you are going to start. Just tell him that you have already started and ask him to give you some pills, you know, if it's possible with your condition, with your health condition, ask him if he can give you some diet pills that can help you along. That's what I would do. I would ask him for some diet pills. And um, again, I, you know, I'm proud of you and everybody else that's um, on this lifestyle change because as like I keep saying, I'm I ain't, you know ain't nobody special. I've done it. Y'all have seen me. I've done it just by exercising and changing my eating habits. That's all. And once you start losing that weight, you're going to keep wanting to keep exercising. And now, like I said, I have to do it three times a week just to maintain. And I'm good. I, I'm good to go. I to get rid of my overlapping stomach, but that's another issue. So anyway, good luck. If you have any more questions, anybody, y'all, of course, feel free to ask me. And I will holler. Okay, I forgot to say also, you can go on YouTube or either Google exercises for people in wheelchairs. And I'm assuming there's thousands and thousands of videos on YouTube with people, um, you know, exercising while they're in a wheelchair. You know, you get you some dumbbells and you can, you know, that exercise your arms, that'll help tighten your arms up. No, it can't, it can't hurt, so, yeah, I would do that. But, of course, ask your doctor first if that is okay, and I'm assuming it should be. So, yeah. All right. Okay, I'm sorry. This is the last take, take three. I forgot one thing. It might be helpful to you. It may not, but I think it would be helpful. I'm going to tell you what I did in the beginning also, and I still do it to this day. Like I said before in a video, you have to eat to live, not live to eat. You can't wake up every day and be like, okay, well, you know, I'm gonna cook this, I'm gonna cook that, and that's all you got is you know, what you cook for dinner, and you have to eat that. You don't have to eat what you cook, like I said before. In the beginning, the, the most important thing is to get the weight off of you by any means necessary. Like I said, everybody might not do this, but this is what has worked for me. I would go three or four days in a row eating the same thing. Baked tilapia or on, the, on top of the stove, grilled tilapia and salads. That is what I live off of because, like I said, I was still trying to figure out how can I cook healthier. So in the meantime, I was still cooking the unhealthy foods and stuff. But like I said, my husband, he ate it, but I didn't eat it. Like today, I'm going to cook spaghetti today. I forgot to buy ground turkey, so I, all I had was some ground beef. So I'm going to make the spaghetti with what I have in my house, but what I'm going to do is take out me a couple of pieces of tilapia. I'm going to cook that. I'm going to make me a salad, and I have some leftover chicken from yesterday that I had rotisserie in, in my uh, grill, my George Foreman grill. I'm going to put that chicken on my salad, and that's going to be my dinner. So I hope that I hope that helps, but like I say, you, some some stuff you're not gonna even want to eat again once you stop eating it. It's all about putting something in your body. I don't care if it's salads for five days in a row and some fish or some baked chicken. Eat that and drink your water, and you will be full and you will be fine. All right, that's it. Holla.